Happy Monday! Dr. Beth Westy here, and I'm going to talk about stress and the effects of cortisol and how that relates to weight loss or weight gain and why it's a struggle for people and what to do about it. This is going to be really important. So in my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, which you can check out the entire program for that, I'll post that um, after I'm done with the live video on my website, which is just www.drbethwesty.com. And you can check that out. That is specifically for exercise and nutrition that actually matches your hormones. So as your hormones change every week of the month, you can change your nutrition to match that. Yay! All right. So when we talk about stress and we talk about weight gain, a lot of people are like, yeah, I stress eat and that's why I gain weight. Or I'm not eating the right things. Or I know when I'm stressed, my metabolism slows down, but I'm not sure why or what to do about it. Well, there's a couple of important pieces to really understand when you are under stress and what to do about it. So first, and I won't get into this today, but there are two types of stress that people suffer from. One is called acute stress. So that's stress that comes on in a very short, brief period of time, and then it, you recover from it. So it doesn't last. It's like you had to slam on the brakes because somebody is you know, almost getting in an accident in front of you and you're in traffic. Boom. <gasps> okay. But you can Calm down from that, recover from that. This is also the same type of stress that animals and mammals go under. Now, there's a second type of stress which is called chronic stress, and it's basically having acute stress over and over and over and over again, so it doesn't end. So this is a stress cycle that snowballs over and over and over. So you are having stress on you're, you know, almost getting in an accident on the way to work. Crap. Oh, and then you're late. Oh, and then this other person didn't have their part of the project done. And then, ooh, and then you get a call from the school that your kid is sick. And then da, 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 da. And your entire day goes like this. And you go to bed stressed and you wake up stressed. This is chronic stress. You can really wear your body out with this type of stress. So um, that is another thing. I'll get into that a little bit later in a different video, but just understand that there are different types of stress that people suffer from. And um, even though there are different types of stress, you really need to understand that it takes time then to recover from that stress and to let your body release all that stress hormone crap from your body. Otherwise, it's not going to get better. So how this works, and I'm going to really do a great job with this drawing today. I was practicing. <laughs> my drawing skills for you guys. So fat cells here are, um, they really protect the body and their job is to store energy so that when you're low on energy or need energy, you can get it from here. But also there's an entire casing of it where it says, okay, we're going to protect the body from anything that is going to be negatively affecting the body. So that can be cortisol. So if you have a lot of stress, stress, this is, this is stress here in the body. Your fat cells will encase the stress to make sure that you are protecting the body. So you get stress all over the place. So then you get more fat cells with stress in them. So this is cortisol is the stress hormone that's released in your body when you're under stress. And this is just going to happen again and again and again. And you get the stress locked in your fat cells. How do you get rid of it? by doing a cell cleanse. You can exercise all you want. You can have the best workout program. You can have the cleanest diet and eat no sugar and no gluten and no dairy and all this stuff. But unless you're actually focusing on getting rid of this stress, it's not gonna release from your body and it is not gonna get rid of it. And you're not gonna have the change in body composition that you wanna have. This is where people really gain weight. And an easy way that this happens is also through sugar. Now, when your body's under stress, another thing that I talk about a lot is protein. Increase your proteins, it helps you keep healthy, da 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 Yes, I have lots of videos on that, you can check that out. But the important thing when we're talking about stress and weight gain and sugars and the impact, sugar's also gonna help store energy, which is gonna help then store more stress hormone, yay, right? And the other thing about this too is that when your body's under stress, your entire nervous system you know, this is all the time. This is not just when you're under stress, but your entire nervous system runs off of sugars. Your brain functions off of sugars. So this is why people get like um, hangry and you know, all these things is because you're like, oh, your brain can't think. It's like, oh, give me sugar. I want to eat now. Bah. That's what my brain does. I don't know about you, but because your brain and your entire nervous systems runs off of sugar, 
When you're under stress, it is more mentally taxing and you need more energy just to function in your everyday life. So what your body does and what cortisol does for you says, hey, this is great. I'm going to take the protein that you're eating and I'm going to turn it into sugar for you. There you go. You're welcome. So now you have increased sugar in your body, not because you're necessarily eating it more, but it's taking the protein, turning it into sugar, which then helps you store more fat, which also then locks more cortisol into the fat cells. <sighs> Yay. Ugh. Right? This whole process of, um, of your body taking protein and turning it into sugar is called gluconeogenesis. Not that you need to know that, but that's what it's called. And it, and it happens when your body's under a lot of stress and when you have an increased cortisol. So for people who are like, okay, I am under stress, I'm trying to lose weight, I don't understand what the heck is happening, this is what's happening. It doesn't, you know, you can eat clean, you can do all these things, but your body's not gonna release this because it's not gonna let go of that cortisol and it's not gonna let go of those fat cells. So you really need to target that. So I would love it if you could share this video with people. Most people don't understand the complex dynamics of stress and what it does to your body, the inflammation it, it, it causes, how it causes you to um, have you know, health problems and all those other things. But overall, people are like, yeah, I, I think it's because I'm stress eating. Well, maybe, but it's also then taking all of that food you're eating, converting it to sugars, and then storing it with the cortisol. Now, when you're in this point, then the only way to get rid of it is to go through a cell cleanse because exercising is not going to do it. Diet's not going to do it alone. People who have this will also say things like, Oh, you know, I went through this very stressful time in my life five years ago. So my, you know, and it could be something like I lost my job and then my family member died and all around the same time, boom, you put on weight and now you can't lose it. And now you're having a hard time taking it off. This is what's going on. And yes, it can last for five years or more. It can last for years because your fat cells are really good at holding things in for you. Yay, fat cells. <laughs> oh, oh good, Stacy. Yes, stress does stink. Yeah, I'm glad this explains a lot of things because most people, again, they don't understand. They don't understand why this is going on or what to do about it or any of these other things. So share this video. If you have questions, please message me if, or comment below or anything like that. And if there's, um, when we talk about cell cleansing, I'm going to do a big video on cell cleansing, how to do that, how it works. And then also timeline, because when people talk about diets and nutrition and things like that and seeing a change, oftentimes you're going to see things like, Oh, 21 day, blah, blah, blah. And this is going to be great. And this is, you're going to feel so much better. Maybe, and you probably will feel better for cleaning up your diet and things like that. But I will tell you something else that it's not going to make a lasting effect. Or there's other people who have stress and they've had stress for years and they're like, okay, I've been doing this for three weeks or four weeks or six weeks. Why am I not seeing a change? Because you're still having a lot of this go on. And then as your body cleanses this out, as it cleanses all the stress out, it really still has a hard time coming out of that because it's tough to do and it's hard on the body. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully this explains a little bit about stress, about stress impacting the body and that it does take time. I mean, when I say take time, you're going to have to be doing a program for at least three solid months and doing it really well to notice a change and really impacting this stress. Anything less than that is actually going to be yeah, you know, if you do a program for say like a month or six weeks or something like that, and then you go off of it, you're going to be causing more stress on the body and it's going to be holding onto it tighter then. Harder to do the next time. So going through, doing a program, doing it for at least three months, that's how long it's a minimum time frame. That's minimum to impact the stress in your body. If you've had stress for years, like five years, and it's very traumatic and you notice you just haven't felt the same, it's going to take, you know, six months. Did I say three years? I meant three months. Three months. Three months time frame. That's a cycle of hormones in the, in the body in terms of, you know, creating new and shifting over. Creating new, shifting over. So two cycles of that would be six months. For people who have a lot of stress and um, slower metabolisms, decreased immune systems, all these other things, again, it can take longer. And most people don't say this because it's not exciting and it kind of sucks. It sucks to be told, hey, you know what? I know you want to get really healthy, but it's going to take you at least three months. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. It takes time and you have to be patient with your body. You know, be patient with the process. 
trust in the process and know that, you know, slowly, day by day, you're going to be doing things to make a change that's going to impact your health for years to come then, because then you won't be stuck in this same stress cycle for years. You'll be able to come out of it. Okay. Hopefully that was a lot of, that was a lot of information. Um, so I'm going to go talk more about cell cleansing in my next video and talk more about how to go through and really impact for stress and other tips around stress and how to increase your proteins when you're under stress or if you've been under stress. If you have questions or if you want to know something specific about stress or how men and women respond differently to stress, because all that information is in my upcoming book, um, or other things that you can do nutrition-wise, please let me know and I will tailor some of these videos to that information. Otherwise, everybody have a great Monday and we'll see you later.